Hiya lovelies, or welcome if you're new here, I'm Linz. So I'm going to attempt today to do a full roast chicken dinner in my new Ninja AF451 UK. Basically it's the one, it's got the smart cook probe thingy. I'm not going to be using that today because if I'm honest, um, yeah, it just seems like an awful lot of faff. And when I was messing with it, it's like very fiddly to get in and out. So I'm going to be using my extremely trusty um, Fermo thermometer and we'll see how that goes. I will test the probe thing out on this on another day, but this is my first time cooking, you know, a complete dinner with this. And one of the reasons I got it, I think more so was that I could do complete dinners. So I am going to bring you down. Um, my chicken, did I say that already, is a 1.2 kg chicken. So I'm going to bring this down and show you I'm not doing anything major with seasonings or anything along them lines. Just a few wee bits and pieces I like to put on mine. It's just as quick as I can do it, basically. <laughs> so let's have a look, shall we? This is the chicken. Now, I've got a thing about chicken. I hate touching it, but, you know, it's just kind of the way it kind of has to go. Um, first of all, I am squirting liberally. This is just basically some vegetable oil and it was in one of them, you know, them dearer bottles you get for spray oil and I've just cleaned it out and fill it in with my own one, cheaper. Then I have some of this. Now this is one of my go-to for everything. I absolutely love it. Basically it's aromat. So I don't know whether you can see that I'll get it where you are from, but this is my preferred thing. So we're just gonna yeah throw it all around then i'm going to use just a little bit of white pepper not that side because it will kill it so again da -da -da, like that and for my main one it's sage okay so sage just goes perfectly with i think chicken or any of that i don't mind the way yet so you'll have to excuse me i'm new to this trying to cook on camera but I will be doing this from now on. Look at the state of the counter. We'll have to clean that up afterwards. <laughs> right, now, can I see? Can I pull yours back up? And here we go. Let me get yours in the right way. So, I am going to be putting it into drawer one. I'm going to try and leave the crisper tray in there. I don't want to touch it if I can help it at all. Because I just it's just something I don't like doing. Right. Oh, there we go. Now, for, geez, it fits well. Look at that. See that? Ah, there we go. Great job. Let's put it in there. We're going to turn it on and we are going to go with I go with roast or air fry. I'm going to go with roast. 190. Yep, that's about right. And I'm going to put it on to start with for uh, we'll go half an hour. Now, I'm going to start this now, but it is very loud, so yeah, I'm going <laughs> to go off, clean up, sort out the veg and stuff, and I'll be back with you. While well, we're waiting for the ninja to do its thing, I'm just going to show you how I prepare my potatoes ready for roasting, I suppose. So we're going to peel them. I love these peelers. This one's very old now at this stage and is getting a little bit worn out. I do hope the audio is commentary over the top of that air fryer. I didn't expect it to be so bloody noisy, if I'm honest. But, yeah, I have... <laughs> my wee puppy is sat down, obviously, you know, if you've got dogs, he's sat down here by my feet, wanting to know who I'm talking to. But basically, that's that. So this here is a pot that I got, I think I got it in Tesco's, um, and it's a steamer, one of them steamer pots with the wee vent for the lid. Now it did have a seal in it, but I think I've used it that much now that the, <laughs> it just won't close proper with the seal. So, that's that. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these soaking in some cold water for a little while, and then basically I am just going to whiz them through the microwave rather than having to use the oven for sort of like a parboil pre-cook we'll say so um for veg 
you'll see, I'll show it to you when I'm doing it, but basically I had some carrots um, that I had prepared pre-blanched and they were in the freezer. So they're out at the moment, just defrosting a little bit with some, again, frozen broccoli and I might put some uh, cauliflower in too. But basically that is enough potatoes there just for the two of us. And yeah, I'm just gonna put them, leave them soak in water for a little while and then they'll go into the microwave for two minutes on high. Mine is um, a 700 watt microwave, but it's just enough to give them that little bit. And then I'll show you what I do with them afterwards. Stop this because I can smell it and it's only been in there for, as you can see, not long at all. So all days. Okay, so that there so far is what the chicken's looking like. So this is trial and error with this machine so far. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this thing. Hope it's strong enough. And there we go. <laughs> We're going to give its bottom a bit. <laughs> oh my days. Just, yeah, that'll do. Right. So there she goes and she's off again. And we'll see how it gets on. All right. The ninja's just stopped. So we'll have a look at the chicken in a minute. But these are the potatoes just out the microwave. I'm sure you can see that they're just steaming a wee bit so we're gonna just let them kind of steam off a little bit have a look at the basket too um let's see now what am i doing just why they're steaming i am going to go ahead and i'm going to spray them with this oil and trust me they do not need to be dried off it will it will stick perfect now, I, I love roast potatoes, so I'm hoping that this one is going to be, you know, I've perfected them in the, the other one. I'm going to add a tiny little bit of garlic granules there, you know, each to their own on um, seasoning and things like that. A bit of garlic granules. Then I am going to put in a bit of parsley. Very strange, aren't I? <laughs> Trust me, don't knock it till you try it, guys, seriously. And again, another tiny, tiny bit of black pepper. Just throw it on. It's all about experimenting, and especially when you're starting to do an air fryer, you know. So that's that. And I am going to throw them into the basket. Put them in. I'll show you what I'm doing with the veg in a minute. Now, I just, I want to have a look... Now, don't forget, this has had half an hour now on 190, and I'm thinking, just bear with me a second, guys. Oh, I don't want to put that down on me, <laughs> my worktop. I'm thinking that possibly 190 might have been just um, a little bit too much. So we're going to flip it over again, hopefully. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. Yeah, the skin's kind of <laughs> it's fine look it's lovely but um i'm glad it's just us eating this and nobody else so what i'm going to do now for another i'm going to say 20 minutes um i'm going to put it in at 170 for this so we'll go back on to roast yeah, I'm going to go down to 170. And this is saying 15 here at the minute. So I'm going to leave it at the 15. And we're going to do that. And then we are going to go... What will I do? Will I match to door two? Is that door? Yeah, door. And I'm going to go 190 for them for 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll see if that works. I am really learning how to use this, so we'll keep all fingers crossed and we'll leave it at that. So we'll get that going and it's doing its thing. Hopefully, so I'm just gonna stop this for a minute. I just want to have a wee check of the veg. And have a look. Oh, that is looking nice. Yeah. Carrots are springy. We're getting there. So that's that. No, stop. <laughs> And there's only 20 seconds left on this chicken. Oh, now that is looking nice. Right, we're going to stick the temperature probe in it. So let's see, shall we? In Now I'm looking for a temperature over 82. Yes, I've got 80, 89. 
just give it a few jabs. 88. 84. Right down into it there. Eighty-five. So, do you know what I'm going to do with this now? I am going to take it out. Oh, I didn't want to use these ones, but still, I'm going to take that out and put it onto a plate. Ugh. And I'm going to cover this now, this wee plate, with some foil, just so it can kind of rest while we're finishing up the rest of the dinner. My veg and everything has just finished. It's looking great. So what I'm going to attempt to do now is I just have a jog. And I want to see, can I take some of these juices from inside that? That'll do. Now, you've got the fat and stuff in there. So if that bothers you, just leave that bit out. And I am just going with a good old cheat today of the Bisto gravy. And I'm going to put, before I put that in, I'm going to put some water. So, I can't really give you <laughs> um, sort of things on this, lovelies, because I just kind of eyeball it. So we're going to go in with, yeah, again. So we'll see. And that there will mix up nicely and be the gravy. So I will be back in a few minutes when I've plated up to show you the final results. Now, lovelies, that is my complete chicken roast dinner done. And I must say, I am extremely impressed with that, but I need to try the chicken because the proof is always in the tasting so let's see and that is still smoking hot oh my gosh that is just so moist i hate that word but it's juicy it's not dried out like it would be and actually funnily enough when i done it in my kasori it was a, t a little bit kind of dry we'll try some carrots we won't because they're that tender, they're falling off the fork. Oh, wow, they've kind of got like a sweet taste to them. Anyway, I'm sure you just don't want to sit there and watch me eating, especially if you're only researching how to do this. Stay with me, lovelies. I do have um, an apple cake coming up, and we're going to have a go at doing it in this, and also a few other dinners and bits and pieces like that. My aim is to get maybe one video out a week. That would be my hope. Um, so do consider subscribing if you're not already. It is free to subscribe to my channel and I would love to have you here as part of the Limbs and Life family and the experience because it's often an experience watching my videos. Now lovelies, have a great day wherever you are. Thanks again very much and just have a good one. Bye.